Today's tip is about reducing the amount of pairs of gloves that you use every time you decide to print something. What is up guys? Hope you're having a great day today. Today we're going to be doing a tip Tuesday. So today we're going to be talking about gloves. As you know, one of the first items that you have on your list when you get into SLA printing is gloves. And the reason for that is resin is very harmful if it's touched and it starts to cure. Now if it's touched and you're able to wash it out completely, then you should be fine. But the minute it starts to cure in UV light, it's an exothermic reaction and that actually causes some serious burns. So that is why gloves are the very first thing that should be on your list when you do SLA printing. However, with gloves, we need to take certain things into consideration. The very first thing is the environment. Every time you work on your printer, you're going to be donning gloves to remove the hood, set the bill plate, pour your resin, and get everything going. And when you're finished, you toss those gloves. And then when you come back after your print is complete, you have to now don gloves again before you remove your print from the build plate, rinse it in the IPA, and then do a final curing. So today's tip is really about being able to reuse your gloves so that you cut the amount of gloves you use in half. And if you are very careful, this may go a very long way for you. When you do your initial setup, most of the times your gloves are contaminated to a certain level where it, they cannot be used again. You may have some light contamination, but it's not where your gloves are coated in resin. So once you have set up your printer, you've put the cover back on, your USB is in, and you've hit print, what you proceed to do is remove your gloves and then you toss it. So in this video, I'm going to show you a very simple way to reuse your gloves. The first step is to remove your gloves and there's a video, I'll post a link up showing you how to properly remove your gloves. After your gloves are removed, you set them aside until your print is complete. Now when your print is complete, you need to reverse them because when you remove them, they get inside out. The very first thing that you need to do when you return to your printer is to reverse them. And this is a very simple trick that I have used. So what you're going to need is an old soda bottle. Here I have a two liter soda bottle. The label has been removed, but this is a good source of air once you press it. Here you take your gloves that's inside out and you use your fingers to turn it partially the right way. And then you put this over your soda bottle and while holding it properly, you press. And there you have it. Your glove is now inside out. And it's very, very easy to now put it back on to continue the rest of your work. Don't use your mouth to inflate the gloves. Don't use your bare fingers to inflate the gloves. Please reuse gloves only if they are lightly soiled. If you have gloves that are severely contaminated with resin, please ensure that you dispose of those. And remember, this may not apply for every pair of gloves that you use, so keep that in mind while you're going about preparing for your print. You may very well need to discard these if they are heavily soiled with resin. We also need to think about the environment. Every time you decide to print on your SLA printer, you're going to be using two gloves to set up your printer and then two gloves to remove your print. That's four gloves for every print. We really do not want to be contributing to pollution and really destroying our environment. So the more we can do to make sure that that doesn't happen, the better. Now nitrile gloves are disposable gloves and if you do have a suggestion for a long-term solution that is not disposable, please leave it in the comments and I'll be very happy to add it to the description of this video. So there you have it guys. 
Tip Tuesday, a very important tip for you today. It's going to help you save the environment and reduce the amount of waste that we contribute on a daily basis. It's also going to save you some money because you're going to be using half the amount of gloves that you actually use when you make a print. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. Please hit the bell on the side so you'll be notified when there are new videos. And that's it for this Tip Tuesday.